video, I'm going to show you how to create a new page in Physiopedia. First, make sure you are logged in. Once you are logged in, you will see the Edit and the Tools drop-down menu bars and also the option to log out. The first step is to make sure there is not already a similar page in Physiopedia. This is really important as we do not want to duplicate pages. It is better to have all the information in one place. So now we need to search if the topic already exists. I am thinking of creating a new page on the basic principles of ergonomics. We do this by using the search tool on the right hand side of the navigation toolbar. Type in and then we will see any pages that relate to this topic. There are a few pages, one on office ergonomics and neck pain and also sitting ergonomics and low back pain. But we don't have a general page on ergonomics. So let us go ahead and create this page now. The process for creating a new page is really simple. First, let's clear this box and clear our search. Then we will go to the Tools drop-down menu and choose the Add Page option. You will see at the top of this page, it reminds us to check that this page does not already exist. But we've done this step. So let's go ahead and create our new page. In the box, type the name of the, the page that you want to create and click Create New Page. We can now see an editing box like this. It's almost like a blank canvas. This is actually the source code of Physiopedia. Source code is where we add our wiki code. So this is the first step of creating a new page. So now let us add some text to the page. It is always good to start all new pages by adding a template. We're going to keep it simple. So we're going to add the new page template. We do this by first typing in two curly brackets and then typing in S-U-B-S-T colon new page close curly brackets. That is how we add a template to a page. We are keeping it simple and we just use a standard new page template. But depending on the type of page you're creating, you could also go to the templates page and choose one of us specifically for the purpose of the page you're creating. For example, if you're creating an outcome measure or a special test or a condition, there are special templates for those, so you would add that instead. So what we are going to do now, we're going to save our page. So scroll down to the bottom and click Save Page. You'll now see that our new page has some structure. The template has also added the source code to add the editor's name, which will be you. And then if we go down, we'll see there's also a heading for references. So as we go along and we add new references by using the site tool, these will be listed under the reference heading. It really is as simple as that. So now you can go and create your very own new page in Physiopedia.